Okay guys, going to do a quick video on how to drop uh, bearings into this uh, transmission side case. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this guy up to about 300 degrees, probably for like 20 minutes, and then we'll drop in uh, bearings that I had in the freezer for uh, overnight. So there's my bearings inside of the freezer. You can see our ice there. So we have one, two, and this is the one that goes on the other side and it has a seal on it. So I got here, uh, just in case it doesn't drop right in, um, I have some various socket sizes um, I'll just go ahead and tap it in if I have to plus I also have a press that has to go that far well just trying to be ready be right back okay preheating the oven we're at 200 now get it to 300 and then we'll drop it in for 20 minutes okay guys we're right at 300 degrees going to drop this guy in here So, see you in 20 minutes. Okay, I got my bearings all ready. I'm gonna make sure that they stay cold as they can. And then uh, we'll go grab the uh, the side case. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Let's try to get this. I'm gonna try this side first. That's going to need to be pressed up. So what I want to do is get the numbers on the outside. So, boom, slide it in. Same with this one, numbers on the outside. need to be pressed in for sure okay right, this side looks really good 
through and let that cool off. And then uh, we'll take it to the press. Okay guys, this is my uh, 12 ton Harbor Freight press I've had like forever. Um, so what we wanna do is make sure we have, let's see, so one on this side and then another socket to press it in. So we wanna make sure that this is in there. This case is still hot. That looks good. Move this over a little bit. Pressing this on to make sure everything still lined up at the bottom. I don't want to crack this case. I can see through the hole. Looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get this centered a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to say that's bottomed out already. Let's check it out. really good you can see that uh, the circle can now fit inside there okay the case is actually tolerable these look pretty good I wonder if I should press this one a little bit more it won't hurt Let's see. I'm gonna get the right socket all right
looks pretty good. I'm going to try this again. This was kind of Okay, I'm gonna say that's all the way. And then we'll do the, uh, the little guy as well. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Yeah, definitely better. Cool. There you go. So, it actually, this one, was it this one? Yeah, this one. I think it was this one anyways, whatever. Either one, they one of them dropped in, no problem. Um, but still had to press them in, so it kind of works, kind of doesn't. I guess it's good to get it started, anyways. Um, and then um, it's a good thing I have this press. Anyways, that's it, and hope this helps. So I've never had. Um, by heating up these cases and installing bearings that are frozen, 100% just work. But as you saw, one of them actually did press in, or not press and drop in, um, and the other one didn't. So, anyways, there you go. Have a great day. If you like the video, subscribe and uh, like the video. It really helps us out. We're out of here. Till the next video.